It's, it's Monterey County. The entire Monterey County is largely immigrant uh, labor force. I mean, it's, it's in the farm fields throughout the Salinas Valley, south all the way to Salinas. I mean, 70, 78% of the residents of the city of Salinas are Hispanic. So Watsonville, same way, maybe even higher in Watsonville. Um, I don't think up here it's that significant once you start getting into Santa Clara County or San Benito County. Uh, Yes, I believe my, I have a simple immigration policy. It is to create work visas right now. Everybody that's here gets a work visa. They get into the system. They start, they, uh, they get a work visa, they pay taxes, and they currently do pay taxes. But in the most cases, they're paying on a fictitious social security number if they're undocumented. It's just a number they bought, it's somebody else. So now with a work visa, they are, they are accumulating, they're paying taxes on their own behalf. And they're paying it into, a, into an immig immigrant working uh, workforce um, that provides, so they have um, proper taxes, um, health insurance, they pay into an immigrant health care uh, program. Uh, they're able to get driver's license and they pay into an insurance program. They approve, approve insurance and they get their driver's license. Now they're documented, now they're legal. Now they're not afraid of deportation. This goes back to prevention and intervention back in the gang, gang problem. Because now everybody in those communities, that, that 76 or 78% Hispanic population, and maybe, a, maybe as high as a 40 to a 50% undocumented Hispanic population in the city of Salinas, now they're not afraid of being deported. Now they'll report crimes. Now they'll turn people in. The only thing that would, that would bring fear to them is uh, retribution from the gangs but now they'll stick together and hopefully we can build neighborhoods and, and get them to support and say, not in my neighborhood, go somewhere else, thugs. Um, and, that, and then through the natural uh, becoming citizens, we already had that system. You know, you show so many years uh, as being a, an immigrant worker and, and then you, uh, you can apply for citizenship and that system's already established. Now the caveat, the other thing, you know, some people say, well that's amnesty, or that's way too easy. No, I'm not giving them citizenship, I'm only giving them a work visa. And this is a work visa based on economics. When there's jobs, they come. When there's not jobs, they go home. And, and when there's an economy like this, we have immigrantjobs.com, just like MontereyBayJobs.com or these other jobs platforms, we have an immigrantjobs.com. Every job that an immigrant holds has to be placed in immigrantjobs.com. And citizens of the United States and green card holders have seniority and priority to every one of those immigrant jobs. So they can bump, a citizen of the United States can bump an immigrant from, they can go and they can apply and take that job because they have seniority. It's sort of like union seniority. And that's how you solve this immigration problem. It becomes an economic, it's not you know, an H-2 or an H-2B or any of those that are very governmentally regulated. Uh, they're all, you only get so many hoeing and thinning guys, so many harvesting guys. No, eliminate all that. It's all based on economics.